Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. We're looking at inequalities today. It's a little bit of the basics of what an inequality is and how we can take a look at them. All right, first off, the symbols for an inequality. This symbol you see right here is known as the less than symbol. All right, sometimes people remember it as like um, a Pac-Man mouth kind of opening towards something that's larger. Um, here's an example of how we would use it. We would say 1 is less than 2. All right, that one's a pretty straightforward example. Any negative number would be less than a positive number. So negative 3 is less than 2. And then negative 10, a really big negative, really far to the negative side there, that's big negative is definitely less than a smaller negative. So negative 10 is less than negative 5. And those are some examples. Again, you can think of it as the you know, smaller side here versus the larger side of the actual symbol. Some people, again, they draw like a Pac-Man type thing. You want to, the Pac-Man wants to eat the bigger number, or they draw a fish on there or something like that. And that's fine to remember it that way. But just remember that this symbol is representing that the smaller thing is on the left, and the one, in this case, is less than two. That's how we would read this. All right. Let's look at a symbol that's very similar. This one here means less than or equal to. All right, that's our symbol number two. Some examples of less than or equal to include two is less than or equal to four. Negative 2.6 is less than or equal to positive 6.1. Three is less than or equal to three. You'll notice that again, in all cases, the number on the left is smaller or less than the number on the right, except when they're equal. So the only difference between our less than symbol and our less than or equal to symbol is that the numbers on the left and the right can be equal to each other. So in this case, 3 is equal to 3, so it's also less than or equal to 3. All right. Let's look at the other symbol, the greater than symbol. This one here has um, our Pac-Man mouth or whatever opening to the left. So the greater number, the larger number, would be on the left. 5 is greater than 3. 2 is greater than negative 3.5. 10 is greater than negative 5. Again, any positive number is greater than a negative number. Um, in decimals, it doesn't really matter. And larger positive numbers, of course, are larger than smaller positive numbers. There we go. All right, and a similar symbol to what we saw before, the greater than or equal to symbol. Our examples can include 3 is greater than or equal to 3, 5 is greater than or equal to 4, and a negative 2.12 is greater than or equal to negative 6.15. So again, the only difference here is that we can include equal numbers to each other. Now, when we're asked to solve an inequality, you're given that there's not really one solution. If we have a variable like this, x is greater than 2, what that means is that every single number greater than 2 is a solution. 3, x could be equal to 3. 3 is greater than 2. x could be equal to 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We could make it anything that's greater than 2, and it makes that statement true. So we can't really say all the possible numbers that are a solution. But what we can do is graph inequalities so that we can show the, show the solution in a visual way. So here is how we could do that. For x is greater than positive 2, what we'll do is we will start by making a circle at the point of 2. Right? Because it's not equal to that point, we're going to keep that circle open. And then we're going to draw an arrow to represent that anything greater than 2 is part of this solution. Every single number greater than 2 is part of that solution. So that's how we would graph that inequality. Let's look at a different one. x is less than negative 2. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. We'll start out by putting an open circle at negative 2. Circles open because it doesn't include that value. Negative 2 is not part of this solution. So we can't fill in that circle. So we'll put an open circle, and then we'll have an arrow pointing to the left. Okay? 
So anything less than that is true. Negative 5 is less than negative 2. Negative 6 is also less than negative 2. Negative 10, negative 20, negative 1,000 is less than negative 2. All right, any number on the left side of this open circle is going to be less than negative 2. So that, therefore, all of those numbers are part of the solution. We could push the arrow all the way to the end or just leave it as an open arrow. So that represents everything on that side. All right. When we have a less than or equal to, greater than or equal to sign, we change one thing while we're making this. And that is that instead of using an open circle, we fill it in. So I filled it in with blue here. So x is greater than or equal to negative 4. I'm going to have a circle that's filled in, and then I'm going to draw my arrow. So x is greater than negative 4 or equal to negative 4. So I fill in the circle for negative 4, and then I draw my arrow to represent everything greater than negative 4. Let's do one with uh, less than or yeah, less than or equal to. x is less than or equal to 3. I'm going to draw a filled in circle at the point positive 3. And I'm going to draw my arrow to represent everything less than that number. All right, so the difference is that with the less than or equal to and greater than and equal to, you make sure to fill in that circle. Otherwise, same basic things. So just a quick look at um, a comparison here. This is x is greater than 1. We would have an open circle. This is x is less than or equal to negative 5 our circle is going to be filled in. Some basic differences between those two. So that is the basics of inequalities, what they are, how we graph them, how we show them. And that is all for this lesson.